Jones back with a new video. This will be a video response to 32 Icons video. I can't own a firearm. Um, she's a, she's a YouTuber. Her name is Olivia. Uh, she's based out of Connecticut. So pray for her because the gun laws there are, are insane. In fact, I think Mossberg should come here to South Carolina. I think they'll be they'll be well welcomed here in this state. But anyway, she did a video a few days ago where she talked about uh, she ran into she ran into an old acquaintance. Who is now, or who used to be a cop, uh, who is now um, a government official, someone, someone who's in, someone who's involved in state politics, and he recognized he, he recognized her as being someone, you know, not just I guess someone who is into firearms, someone who has a you know a channel, you know, has a firearm channel, and um, you know she said that you know he greeted her, she greeted him. And the first question she asked, because she's logged into, the, she's going to a rehab facility to visit someone who's going through the rehab process. Um, she, the person asks her, uh, uh, "Are you still shooting people?" And she <laughs> she said, "No, I don't. Sh I don't shoot people. I shoot guns. You know, she does you know target shooting things like that." And he and he's and she asked, "Know why? You know why did you, you know, why did you say that?" And he said that, "Well, you." Um, he said, "Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to stop people. From, I'm trying to take guns away from people, and you're buying them." And then she says, "She asked a question. She asked a question. Well, then who should who should have guns?" And he kind of got, you know, he said he she said that he looked a bit nervous, um, and then kind of, you know, just to say, oh, he kind of just dismissed, you know, dismissed what he was dismissed the whole thing, and basically gave a farewell. Um, and I said, I, I I was listening to the, you know her thoughts on the matter. I think I, I put a comment in the comment section saying I would share my, you know, I will do a video response to this. Because I think it's, interest, it's an interesting, it's an interesting encounter to have, especially when you're into firearms. I've had similar encounters with other people. Um, and I think if you, I'll say if you, there are a few things. One, she, first thing she didn't want to do is she didn't want to air the person out. I think she should have, because that's someone... Who needs to be who needs to be kept under observation? Um, if, if there's someone who actively says that they're trying to take guns away from people, and he re and he recognizes her as being someone who's not a criminal, but just but she's just someone who's into firearms, that's someone needs to be, that's someone who needs to be called out, especially if, the, if they're if they're in, if they're involved in politics. They need to be they need to be they need to be looked at. They need to be they need to be kept under a microscope because that's that's very dangerous. Uh, my second thought was, when that person said, you know, when the person asked her, you know, are you still, you know, are you still shooting people? She thought they, she thought that, you know, they were being, she thought it was like, you know, being figurative. And my first thought was, no, they truly meant that. <laughs> they, they meant that because they actually said what was, they said what's on their mind. Put it like this. Uh, a lot of people, when they, people, when they project, when they, they can't, when they have insecurities, they attribute their own negative insecurities onto someone else because they can't they can't handle they can't handle what's really inside them or come to terms with it. So to make themselves feel better, they'll say that this person is doing that when really it's them who is really when really it's them who have those who have those desires who have those thoughts. This is someone who actually would shoot people if they had the opportunity to do so. Um, And I, and I understand, you know, I understand her perspective. You know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to assume someone who someone will be thinking like that. But there are people. But I guess I've met people like that before. People who have bad tempers. Uh, people who are very, uh, who are very insidious, or subversive, and that that is that is exactly how they think. They don't normally say it. But every now and then they'll you catch them slipping. <laughs> they'll, they'll say they'll they'll let their mouth get them, get them in trouble. They'll say too much. Uh, and you put and you if you and if you catch on to it pretty well, especially like I said, if you're in, if you're into guns, you certainly learn how to. Especially if you carry, you you it, it, it behooves you to learn how to read people, so that you know what kind of so that you actually know the kind of person that's in front of you, or maybe even behind you. You get a, you get a sense of who is actually someone I need to keep my eye on, and someone who, and who is you know someone who could be a friend, or someone who's just harmless things like that. So this person who said that, who asked her, you know, are, you still, are you still shooting people? Is someone who actually is someone who I, I suspect has have who has a desire to shoot people, 
or has a desire to see certain people shine. Especially when they say that there's especially when they say that there's someone who's trying to take guns away from people and recognizes her as being someone who is not someone who should have their guns removed from them. Case in point, the person that she had an encounter with is someone who I would say is dangerous who, who will be who will be dangerous for having political power in their grasp. Um they openly said that you know they want to take guns away from people. Now you could just you could dismiss it you could dismiss that as just being you know them talking you know, just them running their mouths or you can actually look at it as being someone who's actually telling on themselves and should be like I said should be should be looked over should be should be observed and I mean and also I say should be put on blast should be questioned for saying things like that because. Oftentimes you don't want. To, oftentimes you don't want to take people to. You don't, you don't want to take things that people say seriously. But sometimes people will tell you who they are from the things they say. They were. They, they have. They, they have no problem revealing to the world who the, the kind of person they truly are. And all it does is takes a. Per, all it does is takes a listener to just dig a little, dig a little bit, dig a little deeper, dig, scratch, 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 uh, just scratch the surface a little, a little bit, and you'll find out who that person truly is. So, uh, like I said, I've met people like that before. Um, someone who says that someone who says something like that to me, I wouldn't let them get away with it. I would, I would, I would question them some more to figure out why they know me to be someone who's responsible. Why would they think of saying something like that to me is a why would they think of saying that to me saying something like that to me is an appropriate thing? And why I should and why I think I, why why do they feel comfortable saying that to me like I shouldn't be worried? You know, there, there, there are people there, there are people like that in society. There are people who. Who see others as being, as the guy sees the guy sees Olivia from, from, from Thirty Two Icon, he sees her as a hurdle, because he recognizes that he has a that whoever is his whatever plans he has, she stand someone like her her as people like her stand in the way of his plans, and probably will, and will probably try to do things to you know push her aside, you know, or even steam or worse comes to worse steamroll over. Her. To get you know, to get what they want, but you always but we always but we gotta keep in mind we're always gonna be surrounded by people who have desires, who have ambition. Uh, the only problem is they have no way of actually controlling the way controlling their emotions to actually you know regulate them regulate themselves properly in order to meet their goals. Some people see it you know they see it, you know, as they see things as a means to an end. They they figure what if they get their way it doesn't matter how they got there they still got it. Um, and I think I think I think we really should we really should we should really look at the people who openly say that especially people in public office who openly say they're trying to take guns away from the public when they know what is full of well what is, what is well known that the public is not, the, the, the general public is not the ones who who should be that anyone should be worried about is criminals obviously so obviously this person is very criminally is criminally criminally minded uh, very insidious. Subver very subversive, and you know, it's slick. It's slicker, as the saying goes, slicker than snout on a doorknob. Um, but yeah, I just want to share my thoughts on that on the video she did. Uh, she has a pretty cool channel. I watched I watched some of her videos over time, and I think it's yeah. She has some great, she has some she has some pretty cool reviews. Uh, like I said, she's based in Connecticut, so pray for her. She's having this, she's she's dealing with she's dealing with some stuff up there with the laws that they have. But uh, please check out her channel. I'll leave uh, I'll leave a link to the original video in the description box. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you ever come across any people like this in your pro in your in your day to day lives? Any let hey, tell your, tell your story in the comment section or make a video response. Any gripes, complaints? Send me a PM. I'll see if I can do to address them. Well, that's my video. This is this is a video response to 32's icon, 32 icons video. Uh, I can't own a firearm. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. Stay strapped. And God bless.